We're here. We're here. At. Hold on. Wait for it. 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 Oh. Olympus Disc Golf Course. Formerly known as the Grand Canyon. And it's pretty sick. Here's the pro shot. Ready to play? Well, Joseph is already mad. We're only about two minutes in and he's already angry. Do it. You do it. It keeps yeah. rolling in do, my shirt. Do however you need to do it, man. It's like stretchy. Yeah, just do it. Okay. All right. K3. It's a K3 plastic right there. It's a K3 plastic. I'm ready. All right. Wild. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to give you guys a little course preview uh, of what we'll be playing for the first Disc Golf Pro Tour event of the year, the Chess.com Invitational. Although... I don't really know why they call it an invitational if anybody can play in it. Because aren't invitationals supposed to be like invite only? I don't really know how that works. But anyway. All right, one of my favorite James Conrad moments. We're at the preserve practicing in 2021. And Seth Munsey's going around telling everybody like, hey, it's too smoky. You shouldn't be on the course. You know, a little ode to the smoky day today. And uh, so James's girlfriend calls him like, hey, Seth says like, you have to get off the course. James hangs up the phone. He said, man, I used to smoke a pack a day for 10, <laughs> 10 years. And I'm not getting off the course. <laughs> I've never seen that kind of attitude. What a, what a, <laughs> what a story. What a story. Jim, for you. Thank oh, you, Connor. Welcome. Braden's followers, you're welcome. Yep. <laughs> All right. Sorry, All right. James. <laughs> All right, we're here. Hole number one. I have no idea how far it is, but it plays, pretty, guess. Play, play pretty far. It's like, it plays like 400. <laughs> yeah. With the low ceiling. You can't see it off the tee. Well, you can kind of see it, but you probably can't see it on the camera. Low ceiling, uphill. Most people are probably going to throw power sidearms if they got it. Anything near circle, it's pretty darn good here. Oh, oh that, was, that was a good pick. It was a little high. Just a little bit high. But you know what they say. Two off the top. Two off the tee, baby. Two off the tee. Oh, I split. See, but you know what they say? You know what they say? They say two off the top, baby. Come on. That's still like... You know... Got a little, like, 100 footer. 100 feet. Death behind basket. I'm going to just try and chip up short. Take the easy three. Berg X. That'll do. That will do it. So as you can see, the basket is pretty tucked in there. That's the tee right there. Plays severely uphill. Kind of around this corner of trees. It's pretty tricky. Joey's got a Rattle. little 50 footer. Uh, I think I'm going to give it a little run. I'm he, running it. He says layups are for basketball, folks. That's what he said. Nah, I'm running. Oh, he said he's just sending it. Oh. Commendable effort. Got hole two, par four. We're down here by the fence. Um, you really just want to throw it far and straight to par four. Don't know the distance, high over 600 feet. Old pad used to be up there. It's pretty good. Still leaves a full sidearm in. Yep. I'm trying to match that one from Joseph. Well, if I threw it lower, it'd be good. <sighs> okay. All right. Uh, a little more to be desired off the tee. If you have the big booming sidearm, you could throw it here. But I just ain't got that. So, uh. The basket's up there. I'll try a turnover. Maybe with the stick? I don't know if I can get this there, but we'll see. That way. Way up the hill. Any look at three is good from here. Oh, 
Oh, baby. Oh, oh baby. not I need a turned. Okay, I can get a four from there. Yep. Joseph's sitting in a pretty good spot. Yep. Leaves for a full sidearm into green. Looks pretty solid. You know what I've noticed? That got a little lucky. You know what I've noticed? Is the sidearm wide route, you just throw it, and when you get up there, you just you just hope you gotta get through some branches. It's kind of kind of blocked off. Hard. Perfect spot to be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you got that little Burke sidearm chip sauce, then yeah. There's the basket. There's my frisbee. Caught some branches. Okay. I think this is probably gonna go in. It's going in. No. Yes. Solid. Okay. All right. Hole number three. Probably like 500 or so foot par four. Tee shot's very specific. If you throw it too straight, you're going to be caught up in some rough. If you go early left, you're also going to be caught up in some rough. The landing zone isn't really more than like 20 feet wide, but it's not a very far shot. So this is one you feel like you want to get. We'll see. It might have been a little short, but I feel like it was pretty solid. All right. Okay, one go young. You gotta trust her on a little bit of flex. <laughs> Looks pretty solid. Yeah, very solid, I think. Good. Joseph, what a uh, what bag is that that you're carrying on your back? This right here. It's the pure bag. New sponsor for 2024, both me and Braden. Shout out to Pure Bags. They're pure, they're comfortable, they carry everything I need. And they're stylish, you know, they're they're unique looking. Um, be on the lookout for some new stuff coming from them. But it uh they feel great, carry everything you could possibly imagine. Not super heavy. They come in, I think, three different colorways right now. Three different colorways. But uh, I'm imagining that they're going to up their production here shortly and, and make some new stuff for, for everybody. So go check them out. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Slightly short. I'm good. Yeah, yours is like ideal. Yep. Okay, so we're down here in the first landing zone. People try to kind of get up there halfway up this road, but it makes for big, uh, tricky footing. This is ideal. Basket's pretty straight. There's a B right. I'm going cactus. Perfect. I think so. Cactus. All right. Tricky spot. Just slightly short. If I got like 10 more feet, it'd be pretty solid. But uh, I'll try this little forehand turnover. Uh, I don't know. I didn't really hear it cut roll. Hopefully it didn't cut roll. <laughs> Did it go out of bounds? I don't know. But this is what oh. the green kind of looks like. Up this hill, this is that lone pine tree. You want to be just left of it. And you still have another like 120 feet to this, this pin. We're playing blue pin. Obviously that's the short, that's the long. There's a little drop off behind it too. Just a sneaky one, just to make you think. My frisbee is there, probably 15 feet, and we don't know where Braden's is. Okay, we found Braden's frisbee. It's close. Can you can you be quiet? I have no idea how this got there. <laughs> He's got an old obstructed 20 footer. Let me let me try to let me let me try to capture this. Oh oh. We call this the banana foot. Okay. Anthony, the, ow. This one's for you. Okay. Beautiful. Money. Here's a uh, hole number four. T pad is all the way up there. 
but you can't really see the landing zone. You kind of want to land out near past this, and then it shoots into that little, that little uh, whatever you call that, alley. Hard hole, very hard hole. Tee shots, unique. Eat your bananas, kids. Hole four, you kind of already give you a little preview? Slightly. We didn't talk about the distance or anything. I don't know, well, I don't know how far it is. It's probably like 600 again. Around 600. Downhill, you kind of want to like pop something up. Uh, again, OB on the right fence for that second shot. Really a uh, tough hole here. Yep. Oh, that looks pristine. I think he was still pushing that back back edge. Hopefully it's if he got lucky. It's hard not to. You really gotta hug this little inside. inside if you don't, tree. then uh, you kinda push the back edge and then you're in the rough scramble too far. Let's see if we can hug it tight and keep it straight. Nope, threw it wide. That's why, that's gonna. Bought the rough? Yep. Trying to get a par. Scramble for par, baby. Okay, we're in a funky spot. I pushed this right side still. Um, the landing zone is probably up there another 100 feet, which is insane. Oh, it's great. That's a putt. Very good. Not bad. Braden's still in a tough spot. This is impossible. I'm you, get, you got two meters off the barbed wire, bro? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I do. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Scoot that thing a little bit. All right. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm going to try it. Flex this not hard, but this coward. Yeah, that's, that's tough. Come on, Dady. Be the one. Be the one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jump up the Skip hill. Skip up the hill. Don't roll. You suck! Dang! That was so good! So this is the alleyway. Am I about to uh, birdie this hole or what? I don't know, you could. But uh... Yeah, this hole... If it sees any birdies... I'll be impressed. If it sees any birdies? If it sees any... If anybody birdies this... Man, I'll give them a Twinkie bar or whatever they're called. Right now, so if I make this, you give me a Twinkie bar? Yes! All right, we got a nice 80 footer uphill. I feel, like 120. I feel like this is like, this is great. This, is great. this any, look for birdie. Any, any par is great. Par? <laughs> I'm gonna play for par. You're gonna lay up? No. Get that Twinkie bar, bro. Oh, it's just so far, Bill. He's mad. What? Oh, oh, oh. Casual 80 footer. Playing like an 80 footer. It's probably 55. 50, 40, maybe. Don't leave it low, Braden. Yes! Wow. Wow. The heck, man? Well, I'm washed up, man. I'm washed up. I'm not good anymore. Yes. Hello, friends. This is hole number five. The first, like, completely brand new hole here at Olympus. It's like a 430 foot or something like that, par three. Um, the red basket's the ladies. You kind of want to fly over the red basket, hyzering. And the green is beautiful, but it's also, like, hard to get close. So, again, longer looks at birdies pretty good here. that well straight too straight too wide not a birdie Lutes. why not Lutes, okay shout Big out guy. to nick carl for making this place sick yeah and all that work and they're only they're not even like they're not they even done started. yeah this is the, just the beginning oh 
That could be pretty good. Ah, uh, a little dingle. Oh, it another dingle. All right, here's a not ideal position. Yeah. Uh, but they call them joy buckets for a reason. A bunch of thorns. Oh, okay, never mind. He said he's just gonna lay up. Good idea. Oh, you did it, man. Great, okay. great shot. Oh yeah. All right, we got B-sides. You know, I've been working on them spinners. I've been working on them spinners. You have? Let's go ahead and... and uh, Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of kind of nice with it. Kind of yeah. saucy. All right, here we a go. cute little window. This one, who's this for? Jeff, Myself. Jeff Brick? Oh. oh this Jeff, is for you, Jeff. Jeff Brick, yeah. Go away from Jeff, come on. That's for you, Jeff. I thought I made it. <laughs> What do we got here, Mr. Anderson? This is little six at Olympus. Um, if you guys know how this course was before, it's the same hole except uh, extended tee pad up this uh, mound. Yep. You just throw highs it. And then you access the green. Got lucky through window. Pretty solid. We'll see. I didn't hear anything. Okay. But it felt so inside. Mm -hmm. All right. Walking up to our lies. Oh, I outdrove Joseph. Get wrecked, dude. We're both on the fairway. A little short and a little bit right of where you want to be. Want to I don't know. Farther up there. I mean, to make it easier. But yeah, but also fine. I feel like this is good for this hole now. Yep. I'm going to go CAG Z turnover. I got to work on this shot. Looks money. I think it looks money. Maybe a little short. Let's see. I was going to throw Stig, but Joseph inspired me. I'm going to try the CAG Z. Heck yeah. Try that Anheuser release. We're gonna be like the duo on tour this year. Man, you can't see man. This green is so beautiful. Yeah. You got you got sawgrass right. That's pretty thick. You don't want to go in there. Mm -hmm. If you fade out early or if you throw a forehand too wide, you're over here and you got more pine straw. Not pine straw, sawgrass. But this green is just like slightly elevated. In this hill. in this beautiful like bowl in the side of this like little hill. Oh, beautiful. What do you have to say? Man. Disc, Disc golf. golf. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh man. We are good at frisbee, man. Wait, go, go, go ahead and tap. Go ahead and tap me in. That's not a tap in, bro. Bro. Thank you. I took a par, sir. Yeah, Your walk from hole six to hole seven, you kind of got to go up this little, uh, I don't know what you even call this, valley. And it's a. Uh, sure, at one time it wasn't even a valley. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Okay. Hole number seven. After your walk up to the tee, you're probably going to be tired. But it's about 350 feet. The low ceiling, I feel like, makes it play a little bit longer. But uh, basically, just go straight. That's it. Straight. A long putt. This man thinks he can get over the CAG Z. I ain't getting there with no CAG Z, I'll tell you that. Yep. But he's the CAG Z master. We'll see. I'm just the CAG Z apprentice. We'll see. Oh, he, he said he wanted to get on that one. No, I didn't. I mean, circle one, probably like 20 feet. Pretty solid. Not bad. All right, well, circle's edge putt. Kind of got lucky. I think it rolled out or something. Heat check right here. Heat check. Absolutely heat check. Yep. That's 
go. Let's go. Another another pretty much tap in here. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I got that point point five. Look at that wide lens. Nice. A uh, hole eight. Hole is probably four fifty. Maybe a little less, something like that. Probably plays plays like it. about 450. Downhill and then back up. I think there's going to be OB left. You really just want to go left of this pine tree. Uh, that pine tree. Turn it up that hill over the red basket. Mm -hmm. um, probably going to be a fair amount of people playing for par. And that's all. I'm going to attack it with the right inside loop. <laughs> no wind. Yeah, it's like perfect for the loops. Oh no! Oh, it didn't turn. Ah, uh, that just hits and drops. B1030. It's a putt. Or maybe it got through. Yeah. I'll throw the big boy on okay. here. Re repeat, that. repeat. I gotta throw the big dog on here because I can't get the loots here. Yeah. Alan's just going into the sawgrass. Not where you want to be on Holy Team, man. Oh, turn. Great. That's up on the flat. You know, something slight. You don't want to be here. Yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah. Of course. Oh. Hmm. You're the man. That was a All right, brain for another little heat check. Yep. <laughs> nice putt. All right, hole number nine. Four, like 30, 450, I don't know. It's four something, middle 400s. Very hard. Uh, kind wow. of two options. You can throw a left side hides a flip, turn, kind of straight shot, or you can throw like the power flat shot that hides is late. Uh, I like the left side. The run up kind of makes it difficult. Hopefully they, they level it out a little bit. Yep. Oh, this is the wrong disc. I want my money one. All right, this one's for all my homies. If you're a homie, this is for you. Yeah, look at that. I said I like the right side. Watch, because then it hyzers. Oh. That good. was gonna be good, even though I shouldn't. Or maybe I just need to trust that I'm not gonna hit that tree. This one on the left. Yeah, yeah. this immediate one? Yeah, it's still yeah. throw. Yeah. I've yet to get it up to the basket yet. But he's gonna do it right now, folks. I'm gonna try, left gap. Or, you know what, I'm not calling a gap, I'm just throwing it. <laughs> Oh no. Good thing I didn't call a gap. Oh. <laughs> that, honestly, that's probably better than just going and then hitting the hillside and rolling. Yeah, now, can I, I can now actually, you throw. I can throw it in. It. So here's your walk from the T of hole nine to the basket. You're in this little uh, ravine. And uh, if you don't make it on top of the thing, well, kind of sucks. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like, yeah, because I kind of want to putt. I don't want to have to throw. Um, Around the tree? Around. Mm -hmm. High? Yep. Dunk? Into those branches? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Had the width. Easy par. Now, how embarrassing would it be? If you were right here, and you somehow didn't get it up the hill, that would suck. Good thing I'm not going to do that. You see the basket? Nope. On the right. Left of that pine tree. Listen, listen to them chains. 
Didn't make it. Pars. Yep, pars good. That's it for the front. We'll see you on the back.